of four women now say they were raped by a Louisville Metro police officer. We have new information tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Renee Murphy. The police department's public integrity unit is now investigating, but that's raising some questions for not only the alleged victims, but for some city leaders. 11-11's Anna Rivera has the details. That's right, Doug and Renee, with more victims coming forward. Some are asking, should police officers investigate their own? One Metro Council member says in cases like this, a third party should look into the allegations. Rape allegations against Louisville Metro Police. I was actually in shock. A total of four women have come forward alleging they had been raped by LMPD officer Pablo Cano on many occasions while he was working or in uniform and armed. It's another black eye for the police officer. Lawsuits have been filed against Cano, with three women coming forward with rape allegations. A fourth woman filed a rape complaint against Cano with LMPD. Metro Councilman and retired officer David James says in cases like this, there should be some type of third party investigation. With the, the sexual offenses, uh, it might be a good idea to have either the Attorney General's office or the Kentucky State Police handle those investigations. The attorney representing three of the four alleged victims says that's a major concern for her clients. Who do you call when the police officer assaults you? Do you trust another officer? to take care of it. Attorney Shannon Favre says she's concerned that there could be even more women out there with similar claims. If someone has raped someone, they're going to have done it again. And Councilman James says he doesn't know if the council will push for a third party investigation into this case. He says it's too early to tell at this point. Anna Rivera, 11 at 11.